On June 27, 2022, Chambly police officers responded to a call at Truist Bank in Atlanta, Georgia. The report indicated a female individual attempting to cash a fraudulent check and allegedly assaulting a bank employee during the process. Upon arriving at the scene, officers found the woman, accompanied by her mother, inside the bank. She firmly denied any wrongdoing, asserting that she had not touched the bank employee in question and was trying to leave when intercepted by the officer. No, it was not. I ain't touched that man. I did not touch that man. Well, what's going on? He's he talking, he talking about I touched him, talking about my check is fraudulent and all that stuff like that. My check is not fraudulent. I ain't touch him. Hold on, don't Come talk. on, mama, let's go. No, 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 no. Stay, stay right here now. Right. Tell me what tell me what happened. Hi, I'm the, my name is Sarah. I'm the branch manager here. Okay. Um, basically what happened, the check we confirmed is not a good check. Okay. We had to retain the check. She came in How yelling, how is a check a bad stop, check? Stop, stop, she stop. came in yelling and screaming. My uh, FSS, your financial service specialist, tried to de escalate the situation and let her know what's happening. She grabbed him. I did not. I did we not go him. We, we have it on video camera and everything. Mm -hmm. I did not grab him, sir. I did we not. We have a video footage. Right, well, right now you're being detained. Turn around, turn, put your hands behind your back. The officer detained the woman for further investigation. Throughout this process, she continuously asserted that the check was genuine and couldn't comprehend why the bank refused to cash it. I mean, just a bunch of lies. Like, oh, it's okay, I'm going to investigate it. But just for, a bunch for, of lies. For right I'm now. Like I got HIV and all stuff like that like i'm i'm really like for real i'm gonna investigate and if but right now you are being detained 315 i've got one detained hold on let me let me see that this i need to see i'll need to i'll need the id also <laughs> Ma'am, can I see the ID? Okay, Ms. Brent. Is it? Ms. Brent, your, Brent is your last name. Okay. Like, for real though, like, really? Um, yeah, when someone makes an allegation that there's been an assault and a bad check and been cashed, I'm going to investigate How it. How is it a bad right check? Now, like, I, right work, now to keep, I work for that. Right now, to keep everything from getting worse, you're being detained. I'll put you in the car. I'm gonna investigate thoroughly. I work for and, that. And once I you, and once I find out, and if I find out that there that you haven't committed a crime, no. I'll, I, I'll release you from the handcuffs. You. I haven't released. But, I haven't. But for right now, you're being detained. I did not do nothing to him like this. Might hang it with her in the car while I look at their camera footage. Appreciate it. Where am I go? Where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? Like y'all just doing the most, honey. All right, have a seat. Sure. Let me uh, get this. Sir. Uh, yes. Can you like help me with this situation? Like, I don't, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. It's just a simple fact of. Well, I told. Uh, well, I was pissed off because of the simple fact they were really like trying to say that my check is fraudulent, and I work for that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at. I'm gonna take a look at the cameras because they. I didn't hit him or anything. Well, I'm gonna take a look at the cameras. If you made intentional contact with them, that's against the law. We both was holding each other. Like, we both was holding each other. Okay. Well, I'm going to look at what the camera shows, and I'm going to make my decision from there. But keep this situation from getting any worse. Hey, that is why you're being detained right now. Can you please help me? Like, I don't want to go to jail. I'll come to court, whatever I need to do. I don't want to go to We'll cross that bridge in a second. I haven't made that decision yet. Meanwhile, her mother explained that her daughter is a transgender woman who had traveled from South Carolina, where she is employed by the Hyatt Corporation, to cash the check. Okay, what, what's, for, 
First of all, tell me what happened. What happened? All I know, he was working at a place in South Carolina. So when he come home, I picked him up at the bus station. He come to cash the check. And he gonna do some work while he ain't gonna go back. When I got here, they were saying, he waited so long, they were saying that this chick was a scam. Mm -hmm. So he went on the inside to see what was going on. And he told them that the chick was a scam. And then he grabbed the, one of the workers. Who grabbed one of the workers? Whatever. It's, it's see, my son was born as a he, but I can't get, I'm confused with, he want to be a trans, trans man, you know how that is. Okay. So he, and what he got on here, Bria grabbed the one, that guy, the workers in there. Okay. And tried to make him get his check back, and he told him he can't release the check because it was fraud. Now, I'm trying to find out this company that he's supposed to be working for, and, and I'm going to call and see what's going on. Okay. All right. So he's going to be in the cab. Well, I got it. I, I saw it. I'm still gathering the facts. I'm, I'm going to make sure I treat Bria. Can I talk to him? In, in a second. Not right okay. now. I'm going to make sure I treat, I'm, I'm going to treat everybody fair on this. I know that. I'm going to look, I'm going to look at the cameras. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to just listen to one person over the other. But based on what it was told to me, that's why Bria's detained right now. Yeah, she said, um, she, she saw, she saw, um, she said he put, grabbed, grabbed a hold of the employee. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the camera. I'm gonna look at the cameras. All right. Now, you mind pull out a statement for him? The detective on the scene reviewed the bank's surveillance footage, ultimately confirming the woman's physical altercation with the bank employee. Did anybody I, I else witness many, this? I got too many car key cases um, at the moment. It was just us in here, like, I don't want it to take place for me. Okay. So, <laughs> you um, me up. pretty much, <laughs> no, my you manager's just wanted to handle the transaction because again, I'm like in training. Like um, that right there. Once you let her know let, in the drive through let, that the checks let, were fraud, she was going to have to retain it because that's part of policy. Um, she in turn said that she was going to come in. That's why the car's parked like that. I was going to come, I came here to lock this door. I was going to go lock that door, but she had already made it in. She came in to exchange words with my manager saying, you know, hey, give me my check, give me my check, for just being irate. And then, you know, as I'm standing here, um, and I was like, man, well, unfortunately, you know, my manager did her work on it. We can't get back the check. Um, that's when she in turn walks up on me and wants to, you know, grab my eye. Grabbed you by the tie? Yeah, she grabbed my tie. That's why I had to take it off. Okay. She, she held on to it for a while, so. She grabbed it, but I had, to, I had to let her know, please let, let him go. I had to, like, de-escalate. Okay. This situation. Yes. Okay, let me, uh, y'all said y'all have it on video? He has some video. Yeah, um, I, see, I, I sent it to her. I mean, uh, Ed Rockin, though, three videos. Okay. okay. You got the video? Yes. That, that's some of those because I was going to notice, I don't know if I want to take your photos or videos. So, um, yeah, she, she, she grabbed him. Um, just fill him out, I'm about to wait for him. She, um... What's that? She grabbed him by the tie okay. and then kept trying to swing on him. Okay, so got simple battery. Um, the fraudulent check should. That's it. Uh, or this the. That's the. Um, we have a copy of it. That's the part top part of the check. Yeah. Can you get it? Get we us get the copy. Mm -hmm. Did we charge charge uh, forgery on that one? Yeah. Forgery third degree, right? Because it's over fifteen hundred. Yes. Is this her name? The license says Brent, but ain't changing. Gotcha. Yeah. This is the original. We just hold, we hold on to it, but this. Okay. Yeah. Can you just make us a copy of that? Make copy. Okay. Thank you. How did y'all determine it was fraudulent? Um, with the things in the system that we looked at, that did. Um, there's other checks that's not getting cash, and the name doesn't match the system. It's like ADP, but just has different information on it. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Wild Dunes Resort. Why would she come up from Wild Dunes Resort? Hmm. Did she explain that? 
Nope, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to ask her. So you drove up from South Carolina from working at the resort? Yep, and got your mailing address is Norcross. Right. Hmm. Lucy, your costume's cleaning me, girl. I you can tell the vehicle too. Well, mom's got the vehicle. Oh, that's the mom? Yeah. We have her identification on it? I've got her, I've got hers. Oh, uh, God. It looks like uh, Willoughby's getting a statement from Mom. His mom said the same thing that she grabbed, it, grabbed him. Mom didn't do one of the That's what a, a doctor is for. That's what I'm saying, I'll let her talk to you in a second. All right, so you go by Bria, not Brett, right? Correct. Okay. Everybody knows me. When you type my social security number in the system, it pop, it pops up. Bria. Everybody knows me. Okay. All right, this is what's happening. All right. We have it on video that you grabbed him by the tie and tried to swing on him. I did not swing him. I did not swing okay, him. Okay, either way, you grabbed him by the tie. All right. I didn't try to swing That's that simple battery. All right, you... Um, you attempted a cash a fraudulent check that, that was sir, in I excess did. of fifteen hundred dollars. That's four trillion. Sir, three. So, I work for that. Okay, it's 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 a confirmed fraudulent check. I work for that. Right, I'm just letting you know what's going on. Can you let my mom speak with me? Like you can't let them do this to me. Like I work for that. I work for that. Suspecting a potential discrepancy regarding her identification, the detective decided to investigate further. With, uh, the simple battery? Yeah, let's look into that. Okay. Because the mom says she does work at a resort. Okay. And I'm wondering mm -hmm. if they said it because the name is different, because of uh, okay. being transgender or what. Okay. And then I'll let you know um, if you can go ahead and get the warrant afterwards. All right. All right. All right. I ain't going to send you a warrant. I mean, you, you can if you want. <laughs> Okay, that's our, that's our detective. They're, they're gonna look. They're gonna look into the. Um, they're gonna look into the check more just to see. Yeah, what I doing. work for that, sir. Can you yeah. let my mom speak with me, please? Sure, in, in just a second. I work for that check. I'm not what? fraudulent. Listen, listen. We're not charging you with that yet. The only thing you're being charged right now with is a simple battery on the employee. I didn't swing on him. I didn't you, hit him. You touched him. That's the problem. You, you grab, grabbing him by the by the, the tie in an insulting, provoking manner. It's a, a simple battery. Okay, so but can you it's write a, me a ticket and let me come to court, please? No, that's a it's a it's a misdemeanor crime against a person. You gotta go to jail for that. You can't write a ticket for that. Can you let my mom speak to me, please? Yeah, well, in a second. Tell Let her. me talk to him. Sure. Yeah. You can come talk to her. Please. Can you come and open the door? No, nah, no, we're gonna talk to talk to the window. Okay. She's over here at this window. We're not, charge, we're not charging her with that yet. I have a job. The only thing I we're charging her right now is the simple battery on the employee. Simple battery on the employee. I didn't hit him. That's a misdemeanor. I did not hit him. You grabbed his tie, Brent. You greased at him, baby. We were holding you. They had on camera now, baby. Mama, please don't let them do this to me. Like, what do I need to do? Ain't nothing I could do, baby. I just had to come over there and see. Are you going to come and get me? In fact, he says in DeKalb. Yeah, you go to DeKalb County once uh, once the booking process is completed, the judge will set a bond, and um, you'll be able to get you'll be able to get it from there. My check is not.
not fraudulent. Can y'all just give her the money? Like, my check is not That's fraudulent. not what we're charging you with right now. I told you our detective's going to investigate that further, just see what the what the mix-up was with that. It might even just be something to do with your name, since you're... Since you're they don't have anything to do with it. I've never had this problem before. Everybody knows me. Okay, Everybody hold on, knows hold on. Me. license says Brent. Everybody knows I go by I don't Brent. know you. You do know me. I, I Everybody know, know me. Y'all know my whole family. I don't know anything about you. I've never met you oh before. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's what's happening with this. Uh, we're, we're still investigating that for, that further. Just just see what the, that issue with what that is. Um, so I'm not going to... I'm really, I'm, there's not oh, much I want. Where is the uh, jailhouse located? It's uh, DeKalb County Jail. Um, I'm going to give him an time. I'm going to borrow your time. Yes. Like, this don't make any sense. Like, you got a call or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They just should have just cashed the check and gave me my money. I'm not fraudulent. I don't know where they come up with fraud. And he know you work at a resort. He said resort. So they know it. that. They know that, mama. It's just, they just trying know. to do this to me. They're trying to take me down. Like, I asked you why you come way over here anyway. I don't know about this place. Look, 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 here. I'm not fraudulent. Look, we're not charging you with fraud, right? I'm going to look into it. But we're charging you with the battery because you attacked that man. Okay? I did not hit him. They got they got video showing that you did. I didn't hit him. Right. I grabbed his tire, but I did not hit You're him. Even grabbing his tire is a battery. I'll own up to that. Right. I'll own up to that. Uh, but... That's the, that's the address for, uh, for the for the cap um, I got to look into that because... Or 411 Their explanation... Wait, I'm sorry. Sorry. I have the cap can jail. Actually, I'm sorry. Let me let me, let me double check on that one. I work for that check. Okay. Well, since you're on the check, that's why I asked you if, if you worked at a resort. That's what I'm saying. She's yeah, but now I just got to call the resort, verify all that, and go from there. I thought she did that when she went in there. No, because right. on she their said, end, she said it was coming back fraud. Yes, on their end, it's they, coming back fraud. Mama, they lying. Hey. Okay. What you want to do? What you want them to do? Uh, they're going to have to take you and cut the, they got you on camera on film and it explains everything. And I come over there and see about you. He said get about an hour or two, right? Uh, oh, give, give or take, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll That's, take that, it. It's actually 4415. I brought down the wrong number. We'll go there. Okay. Yeah. I got your purse and stuff. Thank you, Mama. The officer advised her to update her identification to avoid such issues in the future. However, the situation took an unexpected turn when she began to make unrelated and nonsensical statements, denying HIV, AIDS, and suggesting a conspiracy against her. What happened? I, I just need to, I was waiting on, 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 uh, um, text it to me. Maybe, 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 oh, I mean, I, to the... should be coming down, down quick. What's going on? You're being charged with simple battery. That's all. That's all that's happening right now. I just need the. Uh, just need my paperwork done before we before we get moving. So what I need to what I need to do in this situation? Do I need to give me a lawyer? It's up to you. Like I'm saying, no. I'm just saying in this whole situation is going. On. I, I mean, I can't give you that advice. I, I can't advise you on that legally. Yeah. That's Are that. they gonna let me out? Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the, there's no problem. There's, there's no reason why they. I'm gonna set you a bond. I'm charging you with a misdemeanor. What? I don't know. That's up to that's up to the judge. Right. Can you tell him? My, um, can you send him my apologies? We'll, we'll make sure. We'll make sure they know. I don't want like I don't want to be charged with anything. Can you okay, send well, him my apologies? Well, you you are being charged. There's no there's no way. There's, you can't you can't undo that right now. Now, what happens down the road with court? That that's to be that'll be decided later. Um, in terms of yeah, what could what could have been an issue with the check with just the mismatched name, because your license I mean your license still has rent. That, 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 if, if, I've listen, never had this problem. If that before. if that listen, Sir, hold on, hold on, I'm trying, you listen to what hold, I'm hold on, let me let me let me tell you first because I'm trying to help you. All right, if that's still your legal name then, you know, you got to get that change. You got to go through the process of that. But can, can you listen to what I'm saying? I've, I've cashed checks at BBT before with my name, okay. just like that. And she asked me, did I have a second form with my name okay. on it like well, that? Well, for some reason, it didn't work this time. 
but either way, for I mean, just for any type of purposes, if, if you want your name to be Bria, you got to legally change it. You know, because if, if that doesn't match up with your social security number it and your does. driver's license, it's everything like if you run my social, all that shows up on my social. As Bria. Bria shows up on my social. Okay, well, then the next thing you got to do is change your license. Like, uh, if you run my like all my names, the Bria Brent Shake, all that shows okay. up. Shows well, up on my. Le I mean, you gotta make sure your legal name is the name is the, gonna be the name that you're gonna be using because that's what that's what they're gonna go by. And you gotta it's get. Still not, but it's still not making sense because she just could have got another second form of ID, of, 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 like she got from me because she asked me that I have another people, form. People. People make up fake IDs. People make up fake fake checks to defraud them for things like that. That's why they go through these I steps. I don't, not say, I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that's what you're I doing. Work for my money. I'm not saying that's what you're doing. But that's what. That's why they have these steps in place, because people do do that. And you know, if it doesn't work, though, I don't. I don't have no reason to be fraud. Okay, at all. but I'm just saying, that's they have these steps in place, and that's what's causing you to hold. I don't. That might I, don't be what's I don't have no HIV. I don't have nothing. I don't have no HIV. No one said anything. AIDS. Nobody said anything about that. I don't have anything. I don't have no AIDS, no HIV, none of that. Nobody said anything about that's, that. And that's that's why they're taking me through all this because I got away because that was the initial plan. The initial plan was for them to keep injecting me with rat poison, and I was supposed to be gone. That was the initial plan, okay, and that, play, it, play not, it like it was HIV. That was the initial plan, and that's not, that's not, it didn't happen like that. So they're mad at me because I got away. Here's, here's all I'm trying to tell you. If you need to update your license with your legal name, and if it's not, not your legal name, you got to change. You go through the legal process to change your name. Okay. Right. How long is this? Part, how long is this going to take? What, what? What? Us? Us getting on the way, or the process? The whole process of getting your name changed. I'm just saying of me getting out. Okay. Um, we should. We'll, we'll be on the way soon, and it could take take up to a couple a couple hours. Will I be out in time enough to before? I don't know. It depends on it depends on how much they got to do do at the jail. What do they got to do? I don't know. That's that's their part. Uh, it depends on how busy they are, how many people they got to book in. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna talk to the judge as soon as I'm able. Get the war get the warrant to formally charge you. And the judge sets. That's when the judge will set the bond. And once you go through the process, so you'll be you'll be allowed to bond out. I mean, can you can you tell the judge to like keep it light and not like the judge, give me a break? Well, the judge is gonna make that decision based off of uh, nature of the nature of the offense and and um, and and whatever he sees in your criminal history. I don't but, have but, no criminal but, history. Yeah, you know, with a misdemeanor, it's probably just gonna be a standard bond. So, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> that's. I don't know what I don't know uh, the I don't know specifics. That's the judge's call. But it could it could be that the jail just asks just asks for a, per, a percentage of the bond, or they may even give judge may even give you a signature bond. I don't know. But, Are they gonna give me a signature bond? They might. I don't know. Can they just let me out so I can be with my mom, please? Like no. I came here to see. Her. No, we gotta go through this. I mean, this has already happened, so we got I got a job to do. Why? That's what I'm saying, though. Like, why did they start this process saying that I was fr it was fraudulent when I worked for that? They they got it because they got to protect their money too. People do do fraud them. People do uh, intentionally bring up bad checks. You know. But it's not me. I mean, they, out of all the people, they, like they you guys don't. watch me every day. I, you guys watch me every okay, me, day. Me, that's uh, what. No, I'm saying I don't, the I don't world. Watch watch me every day okay they know what i do i don't they know, what know you do. i go to work every i day. don't know what you do they don't know what you do you know people everybody none knows of us, me none of us everybody knows me. i'm i don't know you <laughs> sir i don't on. know you i've ne this is our first time meeting Cut each other chase. come on keep i don't real. know i don't know you i'm you keeping it very keep real it real with me. come on i'm keeping it very real i don't everybody, know you everybody knows me around the world i don't they know you watch me every day Okay, I don't watch you, I'm, I'm, and I don't know you. This is the first time I'm I meeting a, you. I have a whole TV show, like okay. seriously. I've never watched it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've Stop. never watched it. Stop. Stop. I've, I've never watched it. Like, seriously. I've never seen you in any of the TV shows that I watch. Just, just, 
um, how do I get rid of the wife? Do I just need to get a lawsuit or something like? Because it's, it's all because I'm like, he's mad because I want to be with him, and because I won't say because I won't say that I have AIDS or HIV, and I don't want to be with him. Like, okay. why would I? Well, and this is why he keeps harassing me. What do what do, what would you do? Who keeps harassing you? The way. Who's that? Like the guy, this guy that wants me to be with him. He keeps harassing me okay. because I don't want to be with him. What would you do? I, I don't know what what you're talking about at this point. Because that's not, that's not anybody who's in there. He, I mean, they, he the one told them to say that my check was fraud. I mean, like seriously, like I work, I work for that check. Okay, and we're not charging you with that, not yet. Ain't that we'll be on our way soon. As the detective emerged from the bank with the final determination that the check was indeed fraudulent, the officer relayed this information to the woman. Oh, you, you already made a copy? You already used it, ran it? Yeah. Okay. So, what's the move here? Thank you for everything. So, she explained to me on how they determine it was fraud. Yeah. So, when they run the check through the system, right, if you are an employee, so like that one was ADP, Hyatt, whatever then it should have every employee's name. It, no name, that name, her real name, nothing came back. Um, she said, and the phone numbers that were attached for that, that check come back disconnected. Okay. Um, they tried to contact the actual company and nothing. So when they asked her, they was like, they actually tried to give her back the check. Right, it was like, look, we're not, normally we would just keep it, but they tried to give her back the check. But they said she was already on 10, ready to fight. So it was like, well, look, who do you work for? If you tell us that, then, you know, we can contact them. And she refused to give up who she worked for. She refused to give up any information. She was just like, no. Nah. And then that's when she attacked the board. Okay. So. You got enough of the forgery charge in there? Yeah. Okay. So let her explain that. I mean, because if they run it through their system and you... Your account will come back, right? And yeah. Okay. The numbers don't match. Maybe. Yeah. Showing disconnected. So. All right. I'm gonna scan the um, narratives in for you. Statements. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. That's six dollars. <laughs> I don't need this part too. So forgery, third degree. Um, and and simple yeah. battery. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks. Consequently, she was charged with forgery in the third degree and simple battery provoked, before being transported to the DeKalb County Jail. Okay, bad news, I got some more information. So the way they determined the check was fraud is because they ran it through the system. The Hyatt does not have you employed under any name through that registry. They called the numbers listed on the, ch on the check. All those numbers are disconnected. Uh, oh, sir, and, I work at a resort. And they call and they called the resort. They called everybody. You know, they got they got nothing from you. That is a lie. Okay, well that's something you're gonna have to that's something you're gonna have to show in court, but as of now you are being charged with forgery in the third degree. And how did I get a check like that? And I, how did I get a check like that? And I don't even I don't work in the just, accounting office of nothing. Okay, I'm just telling you what it is. You're being charged with forgery in the third degree and simple battery. Oh my God! Are you serious? I am. So they're gonna—they're they're okay, really trying to say that, that I'm, the check is fraudulent. The check is fraudulent. It's been c confirmed. It's fraudulent. I work for that check, sir. I work for that check. Okay. How is it fraudulent? It's done. I'm just telling you what it is. We're not gonna keep going in circles about it. Whoa, whoa. So what I gotta do now? All right. Same same process. It's gonna go through. It's gonna go through the. You're gonna go through the booking process once the, once the judge decides what the bond is. You'll be you'll be able to bind out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like. How is the check fraudulent? Like, and I work for that. Yeah, everybody explain it. When 
not going to keep explaining the same thing over and over again, okay?